Today, we're gonna talk about sleep. Sleeping is really important. And some people don't do it often enough. Seriously though, sleeping is really important. Um, I'm really, really exhausted and tired today. I'm I, like to, to, to a point where I considered not making a video, but then I thought I should make a video about sleeping. Genius, I know. Um, <clears throat> I should probably explain myself a little bit better as I slump in my chair. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't sleep well. I me and sleep have never, we're never good friends. Uh, really, just never good friends. And it's part of, of my lovely uh, chronic pain disorder thingy called fibromyalgia, which you could look up online if you want to. But one of the things, it, it's written just so it sounds, fibromyalgia. Use the Wikipedia, it works, if you really care. But one of the things other than chronic pain is um, not sleeping very well. And the reason for it is, think about the chronic pain that, that I have, which is the, the joints and the muscles and the, they don't feel well and there's no real way of making them feel a little bit better. And when you sleep, you're in one position. And me, I can't stay in one position. I have to move and stretch and, and I'm never comfortable in my own skin because of it. And uh, I'm never comfortable not like staying put, okay? And sleeping is staying put for a long time. I'm pointing backwards because that's where my bed is. That's essentially sleeping. It's very hard for me to find a position where I don't feel pain, even when lying down. And I'm almost always just on my back lying down with sufficient pillows, FYI. But, and, and still, sometimes something hurts. Something doesn't feel right. And though it's, and, and it creates a situation where it's very hard to actually fall asleep. And once I fall asleep, my actual sleep isn't that good because I'm in pain and I move around while I'm sleeping and sometimes so much so that I wake up in the middle of the night. Does that sound awesome? It isn't. Um, and that's, you know, there's not much that I could do about it except for taking sleeping pills or, or something like that, which I tried briefly. Um, I kind of despise doing those type of things. I tried it briefly just to see how it was uh, and it resulted in me being a zombie for the 12 hours that I was actually awake because for about 12 or 13 hours every day I was asleep because I, I, was just, I just slept, just freaking slept uh, because those sleeping pills were really powerful. So I should definitely not do them. With all that said, I've researched um, to some extent, I'm not gonna be a, I'm not an expert, but I've researched to some extent sleeping um, and everything that goes into it. And there's a lot of myths and there's a lot of bullshit around it. And James, you should get eight hours of sleep or seven hours of sleep or six hours of sleep and getting less than six hours of sleep is really bad, like five hours of sleep or four. And you know all those people say, I'll sleep in my grave. Well, you'll get to an early grave if you won't sleep. And uh, the last one is probably the only one that's kind of true. What I found is the most important out of all that bullshit and everybody has their own things, out of all the bullshit, the most useful thing you could do, and really the most useful thing you could do out of all the bullshit of different times, different hours, different whatever, is to have a proper schedule in the sense that you have a proper time frame where you sleep. The amount of hours doesn't matter that much. Clearly you wanna get more than three or four, you wanna get a good decent amount um, but you know, I, I can't really, honestly with, 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 I can't say a proper amount. I can't say if it's eight hours or six hours. I, I really don't know. And I don't think online research will actually help you because there's so much here and so much there. But if you, here's, here's how, how my, how I understand this. If you go to sleep relatively at the same hour and wake up relatively at the same hour every day, clearly that's not easy to do. Sometimes you go out uh, at night, you know, Friday, Saturday, and you want to go out and have fun and you come back at like 4 a.m. It's not possible always, but for the majority of the time, for the majority of the time, for the majority of the weekend, and what you can actually do when you have a, a proper schedule and a, and a frame that you're in and, and, you know, work or school or whatever, if you do that, your body, our bodies are, well, specifically mine is a piece of shit, but most bodies are very adaptable. 
in the sense that we, we humans as a race, our bodies, we adapt to whatever situation. That's why there's people in Africa at 40 degrees, I'm talking Celsius, not Fahrenheit, because I don't use Fahrenheit, um, 40 degrees Celsius and they survive and we have minus 40 degrees Celsius in Alaska and they survive too. So we're, we're very adaptable to our surroundings and our, our bodies, you know, they regenerate to some extent some things. You know, if you get a scratch, your body will regenerate over time and you'll get better and we get disease, we get better because our bodies fights the, the whatever it is and adapts. So if you teach it that this is what I'm doing, and this is what I'm doing right now, it'll adapt to do that. And if you have that frame, whatever that frame may be, your body will, will say, okay, this is what we're doing, so this is what we're doing, and that'll be better. And with that said, I try and go to sleep around uh, 12 or 1 and wake up at 9 every day. Currently, I don't have a job. Um, I, don't have, I don't have a good reason to wake up earlier than that in the morning, so I manage to wake up at 9. Uh, my schooling is usually... Well, on Fridays, my schooling is actually earlier, so I do wake up earlier. But I have my time frame, and uh, I wouldn't say it works, <laughs> but it works in a way. Um, the reason I'm really tired today is because sometimes none of that works. Sometimes you just have those days. And also, I went outside, and it's about a bajillion degrees outside, and that makes you want to die. And when I say die, I mean <laughs> in sleep. So uh, that's why I'm incredibly tired. So I decided to talk about sleeping. Um, and also, yeah, I never take naps. I can't take na I mean, think about how difficult it is for me to fall asleep at night. So falling asleep in the middle of the day... No. Uh, that's just not gonna happen. And it doesn't actually help me. I just, I wake up after two hours feeling just as, if not more so, shitty than when I went to sleep. So I'm gonna just survive for like three or four more hours or so, <laughs> and then go to sleep myself, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my knowledge about sleep. I'm really tired. I'm, uh, I'm going to try and survive the rest of the day, probably not be productive in any other way other than making this video, which I consider productivity, and uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching as usual, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>